Good evening, I'm Lionel Bienvenu and welcome to Denver 7 Sports brought to you by Ramos Law. And the Broncos search for a head coach. Eight candidates interviewed over the last two weeks and now the bell rings for round two, which is a select few coming in this week for second interviews at the UCL Training Center in Dove Valley. One thing we learned today, former Broncos interim head coach Jerry Rosberg had a good meeting with Greg Penner and George Payton. Rosberg said he was interested in the job and they were impressed, but really, does Rosberg have any chance at all? And who will be coming to Denver in the next few days? It's time to get some answers. We are joined now by Denver 7 Broncos inside of Troy Rank. And Troy, the Broncos search for a head coach is now two weeks old uh, with eight candidates interviewed. And you can say a ninth um, emerged <laughs> over the weekend as we found out that Jerry Rosberg did have a meeting with the Broncos. Uh, he did express interest in being the next head coach. But, Troy, I don't think Jerry has any chance to be the next head coach. But what about staying on maybe in some capacity? Yeah, was it an interview? It was an exit interview. That's totally different. Listen, I give Jerry Rosberg all the credit in the world for those two weeks he was in charge. He basically created discipline, accountability, but he did it for two weeks against the team and the Chiefs that were looking ahead and a team and the Chargers that gave up after halftime. People, please have context here. But if you'd like to stay as a special teams coach, I'd be all for that. I just don't know why you'd want to do that. He had been retired for three years. He's been working on projects outside of football I just don't see unless you were going to make him an assistant head coach the only chance I saw that of happening was with Jim Harbaugh he's currently no longer a candidate all right so the candidate pool this time around um, not one young up-and-coming offensive coordinator in the group with no head coaching experience there are a couple of defensive coordinators in there but what did the candidate pool tell you about Greg Penner and this new ownership group and what they're looking for this time around yeah, go for the old, and old by meaning experience in these candidates. They clearly want someone with previous head coaching experience. When you look at Sean Payton, you look at Dan Quinn, you look at Jim Caldwell, and to a lesser degree, David Shaw, because he did it for over a decade in college. That's why they have leaned this search this way, is because the last three-time first head coaches for the Broncos all failed miserably, Lionel. But if they're going to go with a young guy, they've tilted toward defense. You saw that specific specifically with D'Amico Ryans, with Raheem Morris. Those are some to keep an eye on, but I would be surprised when the search is over if it's not someone that's been previously a head coach, specifically in the NFL. So you're talking about Sean Payton, and uh, you're talking about uh, Dan Quinn, and as you mentioned, uh, David Shaw at Stanford with the connections to the ownership group. Um, do you still see the favorite coming from that group of three? Yes, listen, it's Sean Payton until it's not. Now, it doesn't mean they're going to pick Sean Payton, but when you look at the resumes, Lionel, and you know better than anyone as a Saints fan, Sean Payton's resume just glitters. He's a guy that with 14 years of Drew Brees was outstanding. 15 years won seven NFC division crowns. He was in a Super Bowl and won it. He's got everything you'd want. He's a mini Bill Parcells, Bill Parcells light. That's what I'll call him. Similar to when Parcells came out of retirement and coached the Cowboys. That's what you would be looking for. Now, Dan Quinn, Still could get it. He's impressive. This Dallas defense has been impressive for the last two years. 67 takeaways in two regular seasons, Lionel. But David Shaw, again, that to me is the fallback candidate. If you don't like the trade that you're going to have to make for Sean Payton, probably a first and a third. And if you don't feel like Dan Quinn has got all that it takes, David Shaw will connect with the ownership group. I just think that is a tough sell given his last four years at Stanford. So the process from here on out, second interviews at the UC Health Training Center at Dove Valley. I guess you got to see the place. Uh, you look at the house before you move in and you got to see the facilities. And also when you bring them in, spend the day there and you get a much more in-depth uh, version of the interview. Yeah, and I would caution the Broncos, don't feel like you have to offer the job to that person unless he's clearly the leading candidate. Because where they made a mistake last year is that Hackett came in for the second interview. He was first as the finalist, and they hired him, even though they had an interview scheduled with Dan Quinn. They got caught up in the emotion of it. Every room he went into, he caffeinated. Everyone loved him, and it's like, this is our guy. But you have to remove emotion. And that's where Greg Penner, with his corporate background, makes this search different. And that's where the ownership grew it being in there and not George Payton should help because they see it more cold and calculated from the corporate background. So if you're going to bring in finalists, plural, then make sure you give that second or third person a chance to see your facility so you can weigh all three of those or two of those. If it's one, then clearly you offer them the job. All right, Troy, thanks. 